this might look like a camera bag problem, but I think I have a solution. Because if you're going to have a camera, you're gonna need a camera bag, right? But there are a bajillion camera bags out there. Like, where do you even start? And so as I've been thinking about this, is there a perfect bag? How do I find the perfect bag? I buy different bags, but that wasn't quite it. How do we solve this problem? Well, I decided to take a step back, review what I have, go through my story of figuring out how did I get to where I'm at and decide what works. So I'm gonna tell that story a little bit, how I went from all of these bags to where I'm at today. But before we get going, hit that subscribe button as we will have more videos coming your way soon and give a thumbs up if you find this helpful. Now, like I said, there are camera bags for everything. There are very specialized camera bags and there are bags trying to be a general everyday bag. But what you're trying to do and what you're trying to carry with you, depending on your kit, is going to be very personal. So I don't want this to come across as I'm telling you what type of bag you should get, but more of a telling you how I came to my solution and maybe you can see something similar or use the same process to get to what works for you. Now, we have to go back a little bit to where I started with photography. My first camera was this guy. The Nikon D5300, I had the kit lens. And I didn't necessarily need something massive and dedicated to photography because I didn't have a whole lot. I was carrying this around for special occasions and just really dibble dabbling into photography. And therefore I didn't wanna to spend too much money on a dedicated camera bag. Well. One thing that we pretty much all start with is something that's like a camcorder bag. And I technically have those. I have cut them up because of step two. I wanted my everyday backpack to be able to carry my camera, but not be a dedicated camera bag all the time. So I cut off all of the straps. I cut off all the flaps and pockets and things to get just the padded insert. They make those. You don't have to ruin a bag for it. They make dedicated inserts these days. And I basically made my own from what I already had. I took that, I slid it down inside my Jansport backpack that I had from college and called it a day. I had a nice padded bottom section of the backpack. I could slide this and my kit lens down in there. And once I think I got my 51.8, that slid right there, extra battery, SD cards, whatever. And then I still had majority of my backpack to do what I needed, to carry other things, to throw in a jacket or Snickers bar. I don't know, I like Reese's, Snickers are all right. But then you also have to take into consider style and kind of some of the vain fashion components of this. And for me, that meant going from the Jansport backpack to the stone and cloth backpack. Now with this, this is still a dedicated backpack. This is not a camera bag for se but I did the same thing. I took that insert, slid it down in the bottom, put my camera in there. Then I continued to grow my kit. I got a tripod that I wanted to carry with me. I got a few more lenses that I wanted to carry. And that meant that I needed something more specialized. And on this bag, on the stone and cloth bag, on this stone and cloth bag, this is just a normal backpack. This was, um, a great backpack. It has a laptop sleeve in the side or inside there and It's a really big deep empty pocket that you can throw pretty much whatever you want in there Well as a photographer trying to carry my tripod with me I needed somewhere to put that and so I looked at camera bags and figured out How is that done on those bags? And I kind of made my own there is the water bottle slot on the side that I realized okay I can slide a tripod leg in there and I literally went to Joanne's Fabric and I looked around, I thought to myself, how do I make a little strap? That just whips around, tripod, holds it right in there. So as you can see, I'm getting more specialized but still using a general backpack. Doesn't look like a camera bag. So when I'm walking around, people don't know that I necessarily have expensive gear inside unless I have a tripod on the side and that's kind of a dead giveaway but you can see that it's more of a stylish backpack as opposed to some other photography bags that are very utilitarian. And for me, that concept that I developed with the stone and cloth bag 
really brought me to my current everyday backpack, the Brevity Rucksack. Now, I have done a what's in my camera bag video where I talk about this bag in a little bit more detail, but it is very similar where it can have a camera insert where you have all of your camera gear as well as a laptop sleeve or iPad sleeve, but that camera insert can come out and it can be a general bag as you need for whatever else. But it also is very specialized in that they've been very thoughtful about the various components of a photographer's lifestyle. It has tripod straps built in. It has places where you can put SD cards or your lens caps. It has, uh, the one I have even has a rain cover built in right into a little Velcro pocket that you can slip out and cover the whole bag. It's just very thoughtful in what a photographer is going to need. But again, it doesn't look like a photography bag. And that's super important to me because this is a bag that I carry with me to work when I'm commuting, not at the moment, but you know, it's a bag that goes with me around the world when I'm traveling, not right now, but you know. And it really is that bag that I can throw pretty much my entire kit in. Because I'm a Fujifilm user, my kit's relatively small, it's compact. Even though I have four lenses, I might rent another one and have five at a time. I can fit most of that in there with a tripod on the side. And I have a majority of what I need right there on my back and I don't have to do anything else. However, it's not something that I can carry with me everywhere. There's a lot of times where I'm going out with friends, I'm going to dinner, I'm going somewhere, and I want to bring my camera because I want to document those memories. But I don't want to bring a full backpack into a restaurant. It might be a little clunky, it might be too big to kind of like tuck under my feet at a nice restaurant or something like that. I want something a little bit smaller. Well, then I just started looking around for little side bags, something that might be a little bit more compact. Or I don't need my full kit. Again, I'm on Fujifilm, it's a small system. It's intentionally small, that's why I went with it. And I fell for an Instagram app. I'll say it, that was my first mistake. Uh, it didn't have really any reviews here on YouTube. I didn't see anybody else using it, but it kind of looked like what I was hoping for, something that I could put just the camera, one lens, and maybe something else in there. But uh, I went with this kind of no name, no brand bag. This one, I thought this was going to be it. I like the style of this bag, something I can just throw over a shoulder. It was big enough to put the camera in there and maybe a little bit too big for what I was looking for. It just is a little too bulky. When it's on my side, it just feels like it's this big lump um, and it didn't really work for me. So I basically put this on the shelf and use it as storage. I think in there right now, this is where some film is kept. I got some film in here, GoPro accessories, extra batteries, and all it does is it sits on the shelf because I recently got a different minimal side bag. And that is this one. This is the Ona, shoot, I should look it up before I start talking about it. Figured it out. It's the Ona Bowery. Now for me, this has become a great everyday bag. Because I'm not commuting to work and I don't have to have my iPad or laptop and I don't have to have kind of all these other things with me, this bag has become the bag that I throw, a camera, a lens, and I've even been able to fit both my digital Fujifilm and my film Nikon camera. And it also allows me to have some space for couple of other things like SD cards and extra batteries. And this is where I've landed, is this bag and my brevity bag. Those are my two go-to bags because what I've realized is I don't need just one bag. It's okay to have multiple bags that you use for different scenarios. And so that's the key, that's the solution. This mess, it's okay. You just have to pick the right bag for the right situation. Because if I was going on professional shoots more often to studios or on sets, I would probably need something even more robust, maybe looking at something like a Pelican case or something. But that's not for me. That's not something that I do very frequently or ever. So I don't need that and that's okay. 
So I hope for you, you can figure out what do you need in a bag and find that combination. It might be just one bag. It might be a combination of bags, depending on the scenario or situation you're going into. Because for me, if I'm going up a mountain in Glacier National Park or the Rockies somewhere else, I'm gonna want a backpack. I'm not gonna want the, the Ona Bowery bag. But doing some street photography here in Chicago and I wanna be a little bit more discreet, that's gonna be perfect, especially if I'm meeting up with friends somewhere else and I don't wanna have a big bag that I have to worry about or keep an eye on. It just, it works. It's discreet and it looks classy. It doesn't stick out as a big camera bag either. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these bags down in the comments below. I'll link a couple of things. I don't know if all of them are still even available, but I will link what I can find down below. So I hope you found something helpful and useful in there. I am planning on doing a little bit more of a deep dive on the Ona Bowery bag and using that out in the field in the streets and sharing my experience with this bag as I've had it for a little over a month now, maybe two months and sharing just my thoughts and user experience with that bag. So again, subscribe because that video is coming your way soon. And in the meantime, check out this playlist and we'll see you in the next one.